Hello, Tab Nation! It's your boy, Tom. Welcome to YouTube. And today, we're going to be talking about... It's actually been a while since I've done a context menu uh, with auto hotkeys. And this one's going to cover both version 1 and version 2 code. Not a big difference. Pretty self-explanatory. Some of the things I won't cover because I've done other videos. But you guys really seem to like the context menus. So I wanted to do one real quick. And yeah. This is basically dark light mode in context menus. So just a cool way to customize your uh, stuff a little bit more than I've shown you before. So yeah, let's jump into that code, shall we? All right, we're going to start with version 1, and then I'll just show you the differences in version 2. So as you see, version 1.hk is the comment. And right here, I got kind of the... Uh, Number of codes that go with this, I'm not assigning a variable. These are just notes. Um, so don't think that you have to sign the variable. It's going to be built in basically through your DLL calls. Like I said, watch my DLL calls if you want to know a little bit more about what's going on down here. So yeah, we have our function here today. And uh, we're going to be calling it context color and dark. Now this you could change to whatever. Um, it could just be like uh, color. Just make sure you change it down here. I like that better, actually. Uh, but yeah, so we got you know all this going on here. Like I said, watch that video. I'll try to link it in the description below. If I forget, let me know because I tend to do that quite a lot. Where I forget the links in the description below, I'll add that to some of my DLL things, or you can just search my channel. So I've done videos where I create uh, menus, context menus, and if you don't know what that is. This is a context menu. Just a menu, you know, pretty much anything. You got lots of different menus. This is a context menu. That kind of thing. So we're just keeping it simple. We're just calling it menu name, item one, two, three, handler one, two, three. That's saying when we click on item one, it's going to jump down here, perform whatever action we're doing. And once again, keeping it simple. Our uh, handlers, our action down here, our command is just going to be a message box that just says which one we clicked on. So handler one, two, three. Uh, so here's where you would put whatever your code is going to be. Like I said, check out those videos because it's pretty self-explanatory if you watch those of what's going on here. So uh, we're going to be using the tilde key. Not a lot of people know what that is, which means you don't use it a lot. So I like using it. I like using that in F1 quite a bit. Um, this we're going to press. It's going to show our menu. So right here we're starting with 0, which is our default. So let me go ahead and launch that. Let me find it real quick. Uh, what's it called? Ah, oh, test 2. Keep it simple. Everything's simple. Oh, I already had it running. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to press the tilde key. And as you see, it just looks like, you know, your everyday menu just like this lost the tilde key there and so yeah we'll click on item two there's our message box that just says handler two so everything's working so now let's change it to one now this i want to show you this you're not going to notice a difference when i press it it still looks the same that's because it's allowing dark mode so that kind of really depends on the person's settings uh, if they switch to dark mode settings like on their computers for the context menus it will carry over here um, so yeah same with um oh, there should not be a one there so allow dark um, the next one we have though is force dark this is the one you guys are probably going to be using by far the most so we're going to put a two in there save that let's relaunch it we're going to do tilde key and boom, look at that. I like that. So you got that little white border around it so it sticks out on, you know, dark background like this. And now all the text is in white. So this, I love this. So we'll click item three. We got handler three. Now force light, same thing as force dark, but let's say the person has their computer settings to do dark already, but you want it to be light. Or maybe you're working with a program, your GUI is really dark, but you don't want the menu to be dark, even though that person might have those settings to that. You can force it to be light mode instead. 
dead. So those are probably the two you're going to be using by far the most is Force Dark and Force Light. I mean, you'll probably find some people might be annoyed that they can't control that with their system and you're overriding their system settings. But I think you'll be fine. You know, if it works with your GUI really well, they're going to know that. And yeah, hopefully that's, you know, fine. Um, but who knows? There's people out there who love to complain regardless. So um, now number four is Max. I actually can't figure out what this d does because it always is in white, uh, light mode for some reason. But it looks the same to me. So I'm not really sure if that just means make it as bright as possible that the uh, screen allows or something. That one, I have not figured out what the purpose behind that one is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, I haven't played too much with Max because as far as I can tell, it's the same. But yeah, who knows? Yeah, as long as uh, whatever you call it is the same as down here in this DLL call, you're good to go. Don't really need to change any of the other code. That would be the only thing really that you're going to be doing. So yeah, so let's take a look here. Take a look here. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Now let's jump to V2. So V2, I'm not going to explain too much of it because it's the exact same thing. The only differences are going to be how your menus are created. So I haven't done a video. I'll probably do one here actually pretty soon about context menus in V2 versus V1. So if you guys are interested in that, hit the like button. It lets me know that you're interested in me continuing that kind of series. So as you see, it's a little bit different. You're doing menu name first, dot add, whatever you're calling it. So item one, put it in quotations. And then where is it jumping to? Handler one, two, or three. And then up here you do say, you know, that you're creating a menu, brackets, menu name, yada yada. Pretty self-explanatory, just looks a little different. Same with the uh, menu show, same idea up here basically as you're saying show with uh, the uh, percent signs and what uh, menu you're showing. Now, the other difference is everything's going to be a function now so all you're doing with message box uh, return is you are putting it into the curly brackets and then your message box is going to be in parentheses with quotations there uh, so that's a little bit different as how message box works i like a lot of the changes but i don't know this one i'm kind of here and there on it it, it looks better but I, I miss the simplicity of a message box where I just type message box and whatever I want it to say. I do kind of miss that. I like the simplicity of it, but hey, to each his own. And then obviously you see that the handler, uh, the handler just used to be this with the little dots there, and that was it. Uh, I do miss that too. Um, but this gives you a little bit more uh, flexibility and stuff. So you got like A, this menu item. A, this menu position, so the position of your mouse, I guess, uh, and my menu. So that's really what that's doing. Um, you know, there's some good and bad changes, I think, when it comes to V1, V2. You know, I, I'm kind of curious, actually, in the comments below, what do you like about V1 and what do you like about V2? What do you wish they didn't change when they moved over to v2 like what do you wish they kept there's a few things like okay the message box i, I i'm like i said i'm kind of here and there on it but i just i miss the simplicity of the handler just being literally the name with the little dots and not all this stuff i mean there's obviously pros and cons to it but i just i've never had a need for you know too much more than just the name and the dots so i do miss that i do like everything being functions but who knows but yeah if you guys like this want to see more context menus uh moving into v2 since i've kind of done them all in v1 uh, i'm also doing a lot of videos now where i'm kind of like in a flux i guess where i'm going to be doing v1 and v2 code just because so many people are still in both now um, so yeah definitely let me know hit the like button lets me know to continue and don't forget to subscribe because i'm throwing one two videos out every single week having to do with auto hotkeys, or at least automation in general. All right, everybody. Hope this helps. I will see you on the next one, hopefully. Bye.